We are back. New York City Baseball, past, present, and future. I'm Ralph Tycho with the Comfortably Zoned Radio Network. My co-hosts are Marty Rose and Robert Denninger. Gentlemen, how are you? Hey. Good, good. How's everybody? Good. Not We're too fine bad. physically. Um, Robert is fine from a baseball standpoint. And uh, Mert and I, not so much so. Uh, so let's get the bad news out of the way first. We'll, we'll talk about the Mets. Um, can't talk about uh, the bad stretch they're having without uh, starting right in, at the present. Yesterday's game, uh, I've been a Mets fan. Mert and I have been Mets fans since way before they were formed, <laughs> just <laughs> when they were announced <laughs> for Mets fans. Um, and I don't know if you saw it, Mert. I'll give you a little trivia question. Um, it was on Facebook. I, if, you, if you saw it, uh, fine. I'm not trying to gotcha with anything. Okay. Who was the first Med signee in history? First player they ever signed. Wow. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. I know who the first draftee was, uh, who they OB. first signed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, okay. I don't know that one. It um, happened to have been Paul Blair. Who, Paul Blair? Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I learned, I learned it from, uh, a posting, and I went to the uh, the story, and uh, he was signed as a free agent uh, before anyone else. He never uh, played with them, though. No. Never yeah. played with them. He was in the minors with them. He was a, a teammate of Cleon Jones in the okay. minors, and reputedly, Cleon Jones was very upset when um, he was, I guess he was released, or he... He went on to to Baltimore. I I don't remember. I'll have to look Mm -hmm. it up how he got to Baltimore, but um, and later the Yankees. But um, yeah, he uh, was the the first. I thought it was Lee Walls. I guess Lee Walls. um, (laughs) Someone else who a guy named John David Ashley, who's a, a Met Maven on on Facebook. He guessed Ted Lepsio, who, who was signed to an agent out. along the, <laughs> uh, right after right after Blair, and was one of the last cuts when they cut down the roster, uh, hmm. made it twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, amazing that they cut him because he was a horrible ball player. <laughs> he would have fit <laughs> right in. It would have been, been great. He could, exactly. Didn't hit at all um, with the Red Sox. I remember. Uh, anyway, that's uh, the trivia question. Okay. Um, can you make Marty? Can you make heads or tails of uh, Syndergaard's not wanting to be um, have an MRI? Before the debacle the, the yesterday, or um, what's the story? Well, I, all I can think of is it's he, his ego. You know, um, okay. I th- I think that you know with this Thor business uh, in, is indestructible, uh, and I'm I'm just wondering whether. This is a completely different injury than the original one because the original injury had to do with a bicep, and that that's nowhere near the lat. The lat's underneath your arm. Right. So, um, so maybe he did. Maybe he did feel um, like he was okay. And I remember uh, listening to the 
beginning of the game uh, yesterday, and he blew away the first guy uh, throwing 100 miles an hour. And on the radio, I believe Harry, Howie Rose said he's trying to prove a point here, that he's okay and he didn't need the MRI, and look at this, I'm throwing 100 miles an hour. Well, wow. you know? So that that that's that's what I'm thinking. And um, he, I, I really think that uh, he got a little growing up to do. Yeah. Uh, um, and how much of that is what's hoisted on him and uh, an athlete's ego? Uh, and how how much does that run hand in hand? Um, just as an example. Um, and how much are they getting from the, from the medical staff? Um, and, you know, the medical staff wants to keep the guy going. Um, I don't but know. But he said he was okay. He said he was okay. He threw in the bullpen. And, you know, they gave him a couple extra days. And... You know, if he refuses the MRI and he says he's okay, what are you going to do? And if he looked good in the in the bullpen session, then then what do you have to go on? Nothing. Uh, you have yeah. to believe what he said. So, you know, Sandy even said, right, "What well, do you want I me to do? Alderson Pick him up today?" Alderson was talking it, it being a matter of weeks. In a very grim manner. Oh yeah. He also said, "What do you What do you want me to do? Pick him up and throw him in the MRI tube?" When he got asked a question, that's that's what he said. Uh, yeah. No, he's going to be out for. From what I heard, heard a couple of different sources. One guy said it could be up to eight weeks just just to get better, and then the, the rehab assignment after that. So right, um, right. Yeah. like starting spring training all over again. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's so not. We're talking you know. at minimum of uh, three months for sure. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. We're talking all, all star break if you're lucky. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Well, but probably after the all star break. Jeez. Um, yeah. And what about Cespedes? I mean, you know, uh, I know. I, I saw him. Did you see him limp off the field? Or you didn't see it? No, I did. Cespedes. I did. Well, I saw it. And um, you he could tell just by... He had to reach for help. He had, had to put one arm first. He put one arm. Yeah. It, it wasn't one of these things where he's casually walking off the field with a little bit of a limp. No, he couldn't walk right. at all. So, you know, you're looking at at least a month for him, in my opinion. And you got uh, an extra extra two weeks, whatever it is, beyond because it's been recurring and you want to, you know, uh, you don't want him coming back too early and then he's gone for the year. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, you best, within a few days, Mert, Every every game, it seems like the first inning is just uh, we're either starting four or five runs behind, or uh, or disaster happens. It's one day after another. We keep going back for another happy day in paradise. Being a Met fan isn't this great? Yes. <laughs> no, it's 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 really really bad. I mean, yeah. I I seriously think first of all. I don't see any way they're going to catch Washington. Those guys, what this lineup is unbelievable that they have. One after another, boom, 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 boom. They're just oh, Redone unbelievable. Yesterday, Redone yesterday set more records in one day. One day. Ten yeah. rubies, something like yeah. that, five for five or, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and they have they had the good sense – as it turns out, to pick up weeders. I don't know what was keeping the Mets from doing that. Um, yeah, well, but, 
Well, uh, they they obviously were giving Darno another year. Uh, he hasn't oh, been yeah. bad, uh, you know. Yeah. And they're also paying him one point eight seven five million. So, you know. Yeah, uh, well, I think I I think it was Hernandez. It might have been Darling, who just in a passing. Uh, on a TV broadcast uh, after a, a throw that Darno didn't get there and what have you, he just he said he doesn't have a strong enough arm to be a, a top flight catcher. He can't mm-hmm. reach that. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. we have to look at it that way. And um, oh, and Murphy uh, with Washington. This uh, this goes on and on. This guy is. Uh, it's mm-hmm. like Kent. He's going to have Hall of Fame numbers based on uh, being a former Met. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys. There's, there's, somebody was talking about that the other day. They met Turner's Kent, out there they met with Tur- the Yeah, Turner, Turner, and Murphy. Yeah, they met right. some of those guys. Couldn't fit in with the Mets, but, yeah. And do? we misjudged, I think, the severity of Walker's rehab. I mean, this fucking back surgery, for crying out loud. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And he's had a terribly slow start. And then, but yet, let's end it, end the compass, the med part uh, on two pluses. Reyes, out of nowhere, it's like yeah. Phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Put together a pretty decent week, more than, mm-hmm. than a decent mm-hmm. week, and um, that looks good. Yeah. And Conforto, he is. Um, he let, let off to his today home. with a home run. Yeah. Uh, oh, I had, didn't even know that. Um, yeah, but but so did Enciarte. So you know, uh, off his <laughs> So it was one one when I called you in. Called in, you know. Uh, and Mets are winning six to one at the top of the fourth right now. Really? Oh. Yeah. Off Tehran? I'm shocked. I am shocked. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm uh, apoplectic. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Uh, how could I be this wrong? I thought they'd never win again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, one, another thing, Ralph, that was pointed out today. Uh, they got T.J. Rivera playing first base. So it was said that uh, they're really down on Garris because Granderson's not hitting, and they keep throwing him out there every day. And, you know, if if they had any faith in Garris, they would put him in there and bring, uh, bring uh, Jay uh, Bruce back to play first base. But they're not doing that. So... So uh, unless they play with Garris uh, against the lefty, because he yeah, was not... before he got hurt, he was yeah. hitting and he won a Gold Glove or was a candidate or uh, whatever, and they really mm-hmm. could use him because Grandison got to like the guy <laughs> for a lot of reasons. Yeah, the human is, um, uh, you know, his he is his a great guy, but he's thirty six. Yeah. Right. He always starts slowly, no question. But he was never 36 before either. So. Right. Who knows? Yeah, that's a pretty good point. That's a very good point. Yeah. So um, the pluses, Conforto and Reyes. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. very little else. Uh, yeah, well, the ground's been good. you got to hand it to him. Yeah, oh, no question. Yes. Um, yeah, he's been very good. Uh, but Harvey's and been so-so. And Reed has been uh, horrible. Reed, Reed's been sad. Yeah. yeah. And Wheeler's been okay. Uh, maybe as he gets more innings, he'll be better. Uh, but still, he, he's one that they're going to be monitoring all year. So oh, yeah. That's gonna, no doubt. Um we can't expect to get the if we get 150 innings out of him, it, it'd be yeah. terrific. But we're going to get killed with Montero. Montero's taking Syndergaard's place for now. So, uh, uh, yeah, 
Yes, Anything exactly. in the pipeline that you know about? Any pictures coming up? That uh, No, zero. Nothing. Okay. No. Um, then I would say um, let's have a little faith in Sandy to make some sort of move. I don't know what can be done. Um, <laughs> he's got to do something. He has, you know, we're talking two years now where – He's put it together like a jigsaw puzzle, um, with a jigsaw puzzle without a border, in this yeah. case. And mm-hmm. um, he's done it. So uh, nice yeah, to have I think him. He's, I think he's running out of chips at the poker table, Ralph. I really do. Man, it's <laughs> May 1st, and we're <laughs> talking this it's, way. It is. It, it is. It's doom and gloom on May 1st. It is. Right. That uh, should not be this way. No, it shouldn't. No. No. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, uh, Mr. Yes. Deninger, um, yes. are you smiling a little bit at all of this, <laughs> being a Yankee fan? <laughs> <man? laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I just got to know. <laughs> Uh, and I appreciate your honesty, young man. There's no way. I mean, I like the Yankees and the American League, and I, I really like it um, that uh, when both teams are strong, you have a subway series. It's New York spirit and all that. But uh, I can't yeah. say they're um, – It. I mean, it hurts me when they lose, but it doesn't kill me. Let's put it that way. It, um, yeah. And it – doesn't even really hurt. It just uh, <laughs> things a little bit. Uh, so, Robert, we won't laugh at you uh, when um, mm-hmm. when things go bad, and uh, they will because all teams oh, go yeah. through this. And yeah. I will say this too, Mert. Maybe we're getting the bad stuff out of the way early on. Oh, I hope so. You know, I don't see how it can get much worse. Right. I got a I got a question for Robert though. Yeah. Did, did did you that game when they were trailing nine to one a couple of days ago? Oh, did yeah. you hang in there? Did you um, hang in there or did you? I did. I, I muted the TV a couple times and lay back in a lazy boy and then uh-huh. I looked up and it was nine to four and I was like ah oh, you know and then I, it was a, that was a great game I couldn't believe it. I, I did give up a couple I, times, laid back in the lazy boy, and mm-hmm. pop up and see they were creeping back in. You know, it's funny. I'm I'm in visiting in Virginia, and I, you know, I was just looking at the score on my phone. And I saw it was nine to one, and I never looked at it again after that until the next day. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> Ellsbury, Ellsbury had a, I, had the biggest hit with the Grand Slam. Uh, that one, yeah, that that was huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Mer, you didn't ask the question, but I didn't hang in there for the 23-3 run. No, no, no. I, I <laughs> and I'm assuming, no. I won't even no. ask you, you weren't, no. you didn't go into the double, into the triple digits, as it were. Uh, no, but no. Into no, the 20s. No. 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 Okay. I was uh, shocked when I, when I saw that score. I was shocked. Yeah. Um, really memories of the old days. <laughs> I was looking for yeah. Ray Davilo's name to come up in, in the box score or mm-hmm. uh, Bob mm-hmm. Moorhead or <laughs> Jay Hook. Yeah. Didn't happen. Robert, New York Yankees, give me a week yeah. to talk about. Or talk about a week to give me. Or whatever. Well, they, the whole whole month of April, their starting pitching has been better than I anticipated. Uh, they're giving the Yankees innings, which is what they need. And Tanaka, who got off to the you know rough start in his first two outings, is just looking better and better every time he comes out to pitch. Um, three hit shutout against the Red Sox, and he pitches tomorrow. But it's their starting pitching, and they're getting timely hitting. I mean, Greg Bird right now is only batting 107, two for his last 27, and they can afford to let him struggle right now because they're just getting timely hitting from from some of the, some of the veterans, Holiday, Ellsbury. It's just very encouraging what we're seeing right now, but it's a long season. Got, got to ask you about Judge. 
Is it a oh, mirage? Oh, God, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, he looks so much improved from last year, just being patient at the plate, taking good swings at good pitches. He still has a little problem with the slider, chasing it sometimes, but he he's, he looks great at the plate. Yeah. A lot of patience. That's uh, a boon to my fantasy league. <laughs> but taken away by the other guy that we're talking about before, Reed, who has destroyed me or helped to. Um, what uh, What's the word on Sanchez? Is it going to be this week, maybe next week? Um, yeah, well, I heard he starts his uh, rehab assignment, I think, tonight or tomorrow. But if as long as there's not a setback, he should be back with the club by the weekend against the Cubs. They have no need to rush him. They've got no. Romine's batting, I think, 314 coming into tonight. Right. And he's, they close you know, been game. right behind the plate. Yeah. Yeah. So, they're starting to get, who knew it would be this, this quick, where uh, yeah. Headley's giving him a great year, DD is yeah. back from an injury. Yeah, and he, uh, he's like 7 for 15 in his first three games. I mean, he, he looks great. Right. Um and Castro's doing a pretty good job, and um, yeah, yeah, they look. And Hicks, you got to say good things about Hicks. Yeah, Ellsbury is rejuvenated. He's got four or five stolen bases. Um, yeah, wow. And aggressive at the plate, more aggressive this year than he was last year for sure. Yeah. Um, talk about Girardi being extended. Are things uh, going along those lines? Yeah. I, Cashman, you know, he likes to deal until you know, wait until the season's over. And I have no doubt that Girardi will be extended once the season's over. Okay. And conversely, I'll ask you, uh, and I've suggested it that there's a possibility. I'll ask you, Mert, because I've suggested uh, that uh, Terry Collins may not be the Met manager. So talk about, or I, I suggested that he may not uh, be qualified to be the Met manager. <laughs> Is there any talk? Well, that I don't know. Isn't he on the, this the last year of his contract, right? I right. believe it is. Um, well, of course, the fans, you know, fans are do what fans always do. You know, right. get rid of him. He's a bomb. Yeah, you hear it all the time. But, you know, what other what – other, Manager in their history got him to the playoffs three years in a row. Mm. You know, uh, none. I think it might Zero. have been David Johnson, but um, uh, yeah, uh, maybe. Um, okay, but nevertheless. But in any case, but not not, not years, nobody. Yeah, nobody yeah. recently. But yeah. um, you know, I think seems like Sandy has his back. Uh, I think, you know, but. You know whether he whether he comes back again. Uh, they really they haven't discussed it. I think they have uh, enough things to discuss. Uh, you know oh, without talking about. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. uh, anybody down on the training in the press or on the internet really down on the training staff? I mean. Monumental injuries two years in a row. Yeah, they're getting you know, killed. They are they are getting killed, but um, you know the apparently the uh, you know maybe maybe it's it's the not the training staff, but the like the exercise people, the the the, the, the ones that, that have them do the workouts. Um, right. There's a lot Matching, of talk. What have you. Yeah, that stuff. There's a lot of talk about maybe they're lifting weights too much, um, you know, which which they never used to do years ago. Uh, right. But it's not it's not the doctors because uh, they were talking about that today. That you know when when they go to the hospital, they go to the you know the hospital for for special surgery, which is like the top hospital for for orthopedics in in the country or the world or whatever it's really really up there so 
So, you know, once they get to that point, they're getting the best possible care they could. It's just, it's just keeping them from getting the, to that point. Yeah, the training regimen, um, you know, uh, people are calling up saying, you know, Fias R- R- Ramirez. Uh, uh, I don't realize the guy, has he been here since the 80s, the same guy? Is that true? It may be true. Uh, I know he was there two years ago, and they were talk. There was an article I picked up um, today that they were fetching about him two years ago. I mm-hmm. thought, wow, this is current, and I looked up it was uh, 2016. Yeah, so, so I, you know, I look, know every how long every team, yeah, every team has injuries, and every pitcher that that throws hard like these guys do are going to get hurt. You know, there was another another one today. Uh, I forget who it was. Uh, Shelby Miller, so. I think. Somebody, somebody today out here. Yeah. So I mean, it's just been Shelby Miller who who's uh, going in for Tommy John. Is that? Yeah, it could have been. Um, it could have been. I don't remember, but I, but it just happens all the time. It's, uh, every day, there's another guy. So you know, it's not it's not just them. It's 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 every team that has this problem. You know, and it seems okay. like it seems like they have more than their share. Yes, it does. <laughs> but it's for sure. You know. But yeah, but we're only look at we're looking at it from the inside out, being fans. Uh, you're right. Mm-hmm. Look at the overall picture. I mean, it's epidemic to baseball. Yeah, it does tell you that uh, throwing a lot of bucks into pitching for long term may not be a great strategy. Um, <laughs> You know, just uh, sign. Yeah, yeah that, this whole thing is going to change uh, change the way players are, are all rewarded. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, Robert, are the are the Yankees getting expectations put on them now by the press that may be hard to live up to? Um, I don't think. In other words, are people jumping on the bandwagon and going, "Wow, wow, wow! They should do this and that." Well, I've been seeing a lot of fans on uh, social media that are expecting a lot and are extremely hyped about the season. But um, I don't think it's got out of hand just yet. But it wouldn't surprise me if it does real soon. Yeah. New York's a fickle town. Yeah. I'm trying Thank to. you, gentlemen. This has been a good show. I've enjoyed it as usual. Um, I've enjoyed you guys. I haven't enjoyed the subject matter all that much. <laughs> but um, uh, it's there. we got to talk about it. And uh, next week will be better. I guarantee you the Mets will have a better week this week. Well, let's hope so. I mean, if they beat Tehran, that, Tehran that's that's that's... Good news. I I was chalking this up as a definite loss tonight. So, uh, you know, just looking at the pitching matchup. But, uh, yeah. You never know. It's, never know. Uh, as Thanks, John guys. Sterling would as John Sterling would say, that's baseball, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> that, he, you get an awful lot from him, don't we? You know, you get Absolutely. It's a strike <laughs> down the middle. <laughs> Nothing of such, which leads me to compliment both on TV, Gary Cohen, and these guys are just terrific. We are yeah. blessed as Mets. Which are, but, you know, I kind of enjoy their kibitzing back and forth, Michael and, mm-hmm. and Susan. Um, they're just um, in a way. It's all fun. It's baseball. Yeah. And that's right. kind of nice. Thank you, guys. We'll catch you next okay, week. Ralph. Same time, same hey, place. Robert. With a little help from Comcast, hey, hey. I'll be a little yeah. less tardy. All right. Have a good week. All right. Take Robert, care, thank you. All right. Yeah, thank gentlemen. you. Be well.